Hey students, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how I used a combination of frame by frame animation and tweens to create this short animation of a sun and a moon. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, there are two distinct parts to the animation. First, the sun moves across the stage from left to right. Then the background changes and the moon moves left to right across the stage again. You'll also notice that the sun and moon have their own looping animations. The face of the sun, as you can see here, changes expressions. The mouth and the eyes are changing. And then the craters on the moon are rotating in a counterclockwise direction. You can see that here. So let's take a closer look at how I created this animation in Adobe Animate. First of all, you can see I have a total of four layers here in scene one. The bottom two layers, the background and the sun layer, span across 60 frames, and they represent the first part of the animation, where the sun moves from left to right. The background layer contains the green ground and the blue sky. Directly above that background layer, I have the sun layer. And when I select it, you can see motion path that the sun follows from left to right. You can also see that the color of the layer is a golden color. That means that a motion tween has been applied to the sun. The sun is a symbol. I know that because there's a blue line around it. And it's a graphic symbol. If I double click on it, you can see now I go inside the sun layer. That's represented by the upper left hand corner. You can now see that I'm inside the sun symbol, which is inside scene one. And in that symbol, I can see that there are three layers. I have the eyes, the mouth, and the yellow circle. The animation inside the sun symbol extends for 20 frames. And when I scrub the timeline, you can see that the expression of the sun changes. The eyes kind of blink, the mouth moves, the tongue sticks out. As you can see, there's no tweening happening inside the sun symbol. I'm doing this animation with simple frame by frame animation. Now let's go back to scene one and take a look at the second part of this animation. Starting at frame 61, the bottom two layers don't have any more frames, so we don't see the sun after that point. Starting at frame 61, there are about another 60 or 80 frames. And in that part of the animation, we see just the moon and its background. There's a background layer that contains a brown ground and a dark purple sky. And then there's a moon layer, which has a motion tween applied. We can see that here. Here's the motion path. The moon follows that path. If I double click on the moon, which is a graphic symbol, we see that inside the moon symbol, there are two layers. There's a gray circle layer, which just contains the circle, the moon, the moon shape and some moon spots, which are frame by frame animated to rotate in a counterclockwise fashion. And that's all there is to it. So now that you can see how I put this animation together, the challenge for you is to see if you can reproduce this animation, maybe make it even better and do it on your own. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.